Hi everybody, I'm back with another Q&A video. I asked you guys on my Facebook page if you guys had any questions for me, so you guys definitely did. And let's get started. Some of these are pretty funny. Okay, so Amanda, my good old friend Amanda Muse, asks, favorite song to get you dancing around like a crazy woman? Um, gosh, off the top of my head, I'm talking like old school Kanye West, Jamie Foxx, Gold Digger. My roommate Rachel and I used to go crazy to that. And if I hear that song, I just go crazy. So, Gold Digger from like 10 years ago. I love that song. Lisa Murphy asks, I'm a blogger but looking to dip my toe into the big ocean that is YouTube. Have you any tips to get started? And how do you manage to film and edit with three kids? I have a toddler and another baby on the way. Any tips or advice would be appreciated. Love your videos, by the way, massive, massive fan. Hi, Lisa. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do an entirely separate video about this because I feel like a lot of you guys email me and ask me, you know, how do you get into YouTube? I could do an entire video, like I said. Just off the top of my head, what I can tell you is just go for it. You don't need the nicest camera. You don't need all the nice editing equipment. Just go for it. Tell your friends about it, tell your family about it, and it will be embarrassing at first, and people won't support you at first. Anyway, that's what happened to me. I felt kind of weird talking to the camera and thinking people are judging me, blah, blah, blah. Just do it and be yourself and be authentic. I had to learn everything myself. There wasn't somebody like guiding me and I feel like you just need to do that because there is no formula, do you know what I mean, to be successful on YouTube and I'm not even a huge YouTuber. I know people, you know, their YouTubers have millions of subscribers so that's why I've never done a video. I feel kind of weird because I don't have it all figured out myself. I feel like every day I'm learning something. You can do so much research on YouTube, on Google, just Google it. Um, but basically the important things are be yourself, be authentic, figure out what voice you want to have and think, my thing that I always think is, would I personally spend time watching this? And if I think yes, then I do it. So I'll definitely do another video about that, but that's like my basic tips. As far as finding time right now, all three of my kids are napping and I am filming this as quickly as I possibly can so that I can edit it later. So you just have to find random times. I don't have a set schedule because I never know what my kids are gonna be doing, if they're gonna be sick, how they're gonna be behaving or whatever. So you just have to kind of fit it in and just do it while you can. So that means a lot of late nights or just really quick sessions like I'm doing right now. Joelle Jefferson asks, how many kids do you want? Um, I have three right now as you know and I want four and I'm not sure when we will want the fourth one but I definitely want another child. I just, having Molly especially makes me even more baby hungry. I'm like, I need another child. I just love children. I love seeing the family dynamic. I just love it. I was eating popcorn with my sister and I feel like popcorn in my teeth so hopefully you guys can't see it. Kayla Capatas asks, do you find time to cook nightly dinners for your family now that you have three? What are your all-time favorites? Honestly, I have not cooked hardly at all since Molly was born six weeks ago. My husband is an angel and he like takes care of that. Like I take care of the kids during the day and I feed them during the day and then at night he comes home and bless his incredible heart, he cooks for us. So all-time favorites, he's really good at just coming up with random stuff. Usually it's Mexican food. We can also go to my mom's Thai restaurant. So that's also really helpful. And then of course, anything simple that's like pizza or noodles, mac and cheese, spaghetti is really easy for the kids um, and all of that. So those are some of my things, but Brad usually does the cooking. Rosalia La Piccolo asks, does Brad get up during the night to help with baby Molly? Um, he did initially. Um, he can't feed her because she doesn't take the bottle. You guys, it's my third child in a row that does not take a bottle. I'm still trying, um, but she only wakes up once a night now, so I just take care. Of, I just take care of her. It's awesome. She just wakes up once. She's an angel. And then if she does wake up early and she doesn't need to be fed, then he'll take her. He's really great at that. But normally I take care of the middle of the night thing because I can nurse, and he has to go to work the, in the morning and that sort of thing. So I usually take care of that. Maricela Burial Duke asks, "What's the hardest thing to do now that you have three kids?" Um, gosh, I've been swimming a couple times now, and that's kind of crazy. Um, just getting everybody undressed, dressed, diaper changes, in and out of the car is kind of crazy too. It's just like car seat, get Will unbuckled, get Max unbuckled, make sure nobody's running on the road. Just little things like that are pretty crazy, but I just like to do it often so it becomes normal to me so I don't get overwhelmed. I like to force myself to my like comfort level, just like out of the box. I like to force myself to do it so I feel so comfortable and so it just feels like second nature, if that makes any sense. Alexa Contos 
asks, I would love a general run through on your daily routine with the kids, dinner, cleaning with three. I'm a stay at home mom, just number two this month, and I'm super nervous about the adjustment. You can tell a lot of what my daily routine is like with my daily vlogs, and I honestly, I'm in survival mode right now. I'm not like, okay, today we are doing this, and at this exact time we will do this. And I think that is what you need to expect, is just don't expect to do a routine because Life is crazy, and especially when you have multiple kids, your older kids will have preschool or swimming lessons or different things to do, so it's hard to just have a set routine, and if you're so stuck on a routine, you're gonna stress yourself out. You kinda just need to let to learn to let go, that's what I had to do, and it's a lot easier because then things kinda just fall into place. Like Molly will always take a nap in the morning now, and then she'll always take a nap kinda when we're out and about, but then she'll wake up when we're out and about, and then she'll usually take a nap like she is right now when we get home, and so you're just, don't force routine, because I feel like when it's so forced, it's not gonna be easy, but just kind of let it fall into place, if that even makes sense. Um, but yeah, I can do a definite video on that, because I could go into tons of detail. Um, with that, but usually we leave the house around 11 o'clock and we get back around one or two and then we have naps and then we have dinner and then we go to bed around eight. Lara Cogliano asks, how has your relationship changed and or strengthened with your husband? Um, it's just, gosh, when I met Brad, we were best friends right off the bat. Like we just clicked, we understand each other. But with each child, I feel like it, our relationship is just, I don't know, gotten deeper and deeper. Like we're just so much closer. We can read each other. He is just, I've never, I could never imagine myself with anybody else. Like, I don't mean to say this in like a bragging way or anything, but I just feel like he and I were meant for each other. Like, we are soulmates. We just match each other perfectly. We rarely, rarely, rarely argue. Um, not because we're a perfect couple, but I think we're perfect for each other. We can read each other's minds, and he's just so good at being patient, and he supports me always, always, everything I do. Just amazing. We're just really supportive. And so with each child, I feel like it's just our relationship has just been stronger and stronger because we have to help each other. We are all that each other has as far as just like that main support system and we just rely on each other and we're best friends and it just gets stronger and stronger with each child. It's incredible. Natalie Middleton asks, where would you really like to go for a family holiday? Um, I want to take my children back to Thailand and I want to take Brad back to Thailand because I love it so much and I have so many good memories there as a child going there um, in the summer with my family so I would love to take them to Thailand. When do you exercise? Morning, afternoons, or night? How are you planning to lose the baby weight? I'm going to do a whole different video about that. Um, I honestly just find time when Brad gets home from work. I'll go on a quick run. I'm just doing short runs right now because I'm slowly getting back into it. Um, but yeah, you just have to make time. You got If you want to lose weight, you have to like make sacrifices. Nicole Youngclaws asks, how do you balance time with Will and Max now that Molly's here? Um, I haven't really had individual time alone with each of them. I usually try to at the end of the night read them a story alone in their bedrooms because during the day, there's really no opportunity I have to just be alone with any of them. So usually at nighttime. April asks, she's like an amazing YouTube vlogger that lives here in Utah. What is your favorite perfume? I love the Elizabeth and James perfume. The white one is just like my favorite perfume of all time. It just smells delicious. Okay, I am gonna slaughter your name. I'm so sorry, but your name is Aparajita Kartik. Sorry, I'm sorry. You have a two year gap between Will and Max. How did you like the gap? Was it easy being pregnant with a young toddler? No, it was not be easy being pregnant with a young toddler. I can tell you that much. Um, I loved the two year gap. I love how close they are. It's hard initially, but I know that in the long term, it'll be worth it. I've always wanted my children really close together so that they can be in school together. So Will and Max will be two years apart. Molly and um, Max will be two years apart so they can be in high school together. They can be in junior high together elementary all of that I love that it's hard, but totally worth it in my mind because they're best friends You know because they will know the same people and all of that teachers all of that you guys ask me so many questions So I'm trying to find the ones that are like the most popular my friend Kelly asks. How do you stay so hot? <laughs> Kelly 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 look in the mirror and then you can tell me because I do not know that secret. <laughs> okay, let's see, what other questions? Um, somebody asked if I can do a cleaning routine video. Um, I think I would be a hypocrite if I did a cleaning routine video right now because I feel like I am just in survival mode, so I don't have a routine. I just clean 
whenever I get a second, it's like, uh, I gotta throw some laundry in the washing machine. Um, gotta vacuum really fast. Somebody's coming over. I don't really have a routine right now. And if I made one, I'd be a hypocrite. I'd be lying to you because I don't do it right now. I don't clean very often. My house is pretty messy. The main living areas are always pretty clean. And I try to do it when the boys are eating breakfast or if Molly's taking a nap, I try to clean. Um, but I'm not too obsessed right now with like being super clean because it's just not worth it. Catherine Weevil asks, how is breastfeeding going and do you have any tips or tricks for those starting to nurse? Breastfeeding is going great. As far as tips are, or tricks, I'm not a professional, I'm not a lactation specialist. I did use a nipple shield initially with all three of my children because that is what a lactation specialist told me to do because sometimes my kids had problems latching on and then it, they latched on right away and I was also like so sore that it really helped it so it wasn't sore and I only used that for the first couple of days and it was really helpful. Don't give up. It's really frustrating, but it's a process and you have to learn with each child. So even though I could breastfeed with Max, I had to learn with Molly and with Will and all of that. It just, it's a learning process and have patience. If you really want to do it, you can do it. And you know, sometimes you're not a failure if you can't do it. I think that's totally fine too. But if you really want to do it, definitely don't give up. Um, seek help if you need from a lactation specialist. If you really want to do research, just don't give up if you really want to. Okay, Hina asks, what is your key to keep a strong, happy bond and love between husband and wife after kids? I think it's so important to spend alone time together. I feel so sad right now because Brad and I can't really do anything alone because I can't leave Molly. Um, we took her on a lunch date with us. We took her with us because she was just sleeping the whole time. But it's really important to just always be talking to each other and just be each other's best friends and to be supportive and to just be understanding and patient with each other. And Brad and I, throughout the day when he's at work, we're always texting each other. We're always just like, how are you doing? You know, and are you okay? And how's work? And he's like, how are the kids? And we just always stay in contact with each other. Um, I just think it's so important to have a friendship. This is not like a business relationship. It's a partnership and it's a friendship. And that's just really important to spend that alone time together, but to just always be thinking of the other person. And it's gonna make me emotional right now just thinking about it, but Brad is just the best at that. Like. He's always thinking of me um, before himself, and I just, I'm really grateful for that. This is getting really long. I'm gonna do one more. Uh, let's see. Somebody asked me to do a video on Molly's room, including all of her clothes and shoes. I have three boys and love seeing baby girl stuff. Have no fear, when I move in August to Molly, or to our new house, I will definitely do like some DIY projects that I have in mind for Molly's room. Also, you can check out my Pinterest page. I have kind of like inspiration for what I want it to look like, but she doesn't have a room right now because she's sleeping in this room with us um, in a bassinet. So I also have a video of a baby girl haul that I did if you want to check out some of that stuff. But yeah, that should be it for my video today. Thank you all so much for all of your questions. I had a lot of fun answering all of them. Thumbs up if you guys like this video and comment down below and let me know what exciting things you have planned for the day. And I love you very much and thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And yeah, that is it. Bye.